students, they call it a win for the whole campus. Howard University's sit-in ended with a long list of new agreements made between them and the Board of Trustees. Our John Henry was there when school officials made the announcement just about an hour ago. Sit-in at Howard University's administration building has come to an end. It lasted for nine days. Nine days. Hundreds of students wanted change and it looks like that's ultimately what they got. We learned during a press conference that included students, a board of trustee member, and university president Wayne Frederick, a list of commitments has been made to its student body. Howard will implement the proposal for a joint student administration task force to address behavioral health services. Howard will commit to making a recommendation to the board to consider holding undergraduate tuition at current levels next school year. There will also be a task force created to examine Howard's public safety department. Here's a student and the university president. The solutions that these students have worked on with the Board of Trustees for the problems that we face and for the difficult issues that we that challenge us every day are solutions that I think are very creative and they should be very proud of. Um, today is a historic moment. Uh, this is the longest standing occupation of a building um, in Howard's history ever. And I think um, it's important for us to acknowledge that no significant change that has ever happened within the black community has happened without struggle. Now one thing that students had called for at the beginning of the sit-in was the removal of HU President Wayne Frederick from his post. As you can see, he's still there, and that was not addressed at today's press conference. For the very latest from Howard, John Henry, W.